Walking Dead. Well, I reckon you didn't do it then. Why do you say that? You know, I've driven a bunch of fellas down to this prison. Lord knows how many. Usually it's about now I get the, I didn't do it. And what do you say? I say, yep, I know you didn't. Followed your case a little bit. You being a making boy and all. You're from making then? You're from making then. Yep. Came up to Atlanta to be a city cop in the 70s. Huh. Always wanted to work a murder case. Like that senatorial mess you got yourself mixed up in. But with all due respect. A real shame that is. Uh oh. Hell. The whole family used to be regulars at your folks' drugstore right in downtown. Still there? Sure is. Good. He advised uh, medical personnel and there's a hard steel during 1020 coming in. I got a nephew up at UGA. You teach there long? Going on my sixth year. You meet your wife in Athens? Huh. You want to know how I see it? Yeah, that's a lot of cops going the opposite direction towards the city. Are you gonna tell me? Regardless, could be you just married the wrong woman. Oh. Um. Or she married the wrong guy. <sighs> this man once. He, he was the worst one. He wouldn't stop going on about how he didn't do it. He was an older fella. Big soft eyes behind a pair of smart folk glasses. And he just wailing back there. Says it wasn't him. Crying and snotting all over right where you're all sitting. Officers are available for incoming to one... Then before long, he starts kicking the back of the seat like, like a fussy baby on an airplane. And I'll tell him he's got to stop. But that's government property and I'll be forced to zap him otherwise. So he stops, and having exhausted all his options, he starts crying out for his mama. Mama, it's all a big mistake. It wasn't me. So did he do it? So did he do it? They caught the fucker red-handed, stabbing his wife, cutting her up as the boys came through the door. He sits in my car screaming bloody murder that it wasn't him. I think he actually believed it himself. Huh. It goes to show, people will up and go mad when they believe their life is over. Oh, I got another good one for you. This one's a little bit less depressing and a bit more hilarious if I do oh, say shit. so. Oh, this shit. other time. <laughs> Did he have 
his gun out. There's a gun. Hey! Hey, officer! Are you alright? I'm still cuffed back here! Um, just looking around. Oh, right. Alright, there's a gun. was tossed from the car during the wreck. Officer? Oh, that doesn't look good. Yeah. He wasn't ejected from the car. I need to drag myself out that window. Oh my gosh. I need to drag myself out that window. Ouch. In the cuffs. Oof, that was graceful. Alright, the shotgun is by the pat the front. Ow. Sounds like our ankle. The shotgun is over there. Ow, man. I feel you. It's empty. Crap. It'll be easier to carry with these cuffs off. Empty. Okay, so we have a It'll bullet. It'll be easier to carry with these cuffs off. Okay. Oh, dude, I'm so sorry. Your ankle. I'm gonna stop hurting you. So sorry. Should we go see the dead guy? Officer? Can we go anywhere else? Nope. Alright, let's go see the... Oh, boy. God damn. Stupid noise. Oh, 
No, 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 no. Oh my god. Oh my god. Dude, no. No, no. Time to go. This is gonna suck. Look at him. Hello? Anybody? Uh, I'd fill one of those teacups with some bourbon if I could. This leg the way it is. Help! No ladder. I'm not getting up there anyway. This leg the way it is. For a dip. Somebody! Yell if you can hear me! Damn, why are we so loud, man? We're so loud. We need to shut up. Maybe I should just check inside the house through the glass door before wandering out into the neighborhood. Yeah, yeah, let's go. Is there anybody here? You're gonna get a seat, bro. Stop talking. Okay, no, we can't. Alright, let's go to the house. Go more faster. Alright, now I guess I'm hurt. Just don't scream out for help anymore. I will get you inside. I wonder if anybody's home. Okay. Table. I wonder if anybody's home. Hello? Anybody home? Uh oh. I need a little help. Uh okay. We're going in. We're going is it even shit? Coming in! Don't shoot, okay? <laughs> ah! Hello? I'm not an intruder. Or one of them. These people might need more help than I do. Okay, uh, what is that? Coloring book. Like a beep. Okay, 
There's a kid somewhere. Jesus. Stop beeping. Fuck. Are you serious? That's so nasty, man. Marshals. That's a Savannah area code. But that's the type of note you'd leave a babysitter. This place has been ransacked. Just about anything worthwhile is gone. What's in here? Nope. Damn it, stop beeping it. There are three new messages. Man, it's ransacked. He's right. There's nothing. Oh, can. Can I get it? That's a can. That's food. That's... Some water in us. <sighs> That's not bad. Dude, stop, stop it, phone. You're, you're so beepy. All right, should we go? Uh, have we checked all this? Is everything done? Okay, 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 okay. There are three new messages. Okay. Where? Maybe there's something on there. Look at bookshelf. Furniture overturned, blood everywhere. Jesus. I just want to look around some more. Where the heck are we going? This whole neighborhood is deserted. What the hell? God, that kid lived here. Clementine. Okay. What is this? Uh, cables out. TV's gone. Okay. There are three new messages. All right, I'm coming. I'm just gonna go. What about the mail? There's something on there. Alright. Three Let's listen. new messages. Message one. Left at 5.43 p.m. Hey, Sandra. This is Diana. We're still in Savannah. Uh, Ed had a little incident with some crazy guy near the hotel, so we had to get him back to the ER and have it checked out. Anyway, he's not feeling well enough to drive back tonight, so we're staying an extra day. Thanks so much for looking after Clementine, and I promise we'll be back in time before your spring break. Message 2. Left at 11.19 p.m. Oh my god, finally. I don't know if you tried to reach us. All, all the calls are getting dropped. And they're not letting us leave and aren't telling uh -oh. us anything about Atlanta. Please, please, just leave the city and take Clementine with you back to Murrieta. I've, I've got to get back to the hospital. Please let me know that you're safe. Message 3. Left at 6.51 a.m. Clementine, baby. Oh, shit. If you can hear this, call the police. Oh, no. This Nine one one. We love you. They're not coming back. We love you. Oh. We love you. Okay. So mom and dad are gone. The baby. Where's the babysitter? Oh fuck. Daddy. Huh? Hello. You need to be quiet. Is this Clementine? Are you okay? 
I'm okay. They tried to get me, but I'm hiding until my parents come home. How old are you? Eight. And you're all alone? Yes. I don't know where anybody is. How old are you? I'm, uh, 37. Okay. Okay. <laughs> What's your name? I'm Clementine. This is my house. Hi, Clementine. I'm Lee. Where are your parents? They took a trip and left me with Sandra. They're in Savannah, I think. Where the boats are? Are you safe? I'm outside in my treehouse. Okay. They can't get in. Cool. That's smart. See? Can you see me? I can see you through the window. It's okay. I think she was a monster. Yeah, she was a monster. Uh, I think so, too. You've been all by yourself through this? Yeah. I want my parents to come home now. I think that might be a little while, you know? Oh. Look, I don't know what happened, but I'll look after you until then. What should we do now? Uh, get out of here once. Look for help before it gets dark. We need to find help before it gets dark. Maybe? Yeah, it's not safe at night. Okay, cool. Yeah, nighttime sucks. Ever played Left 4 Dead? Bad, 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 Let's bad, go. bad. Stay close to me. Dying light? Nighttime? Bad, bad, bad. We're not even getting food. I guess there's no food in here, so. Do we still have the hammer? Alright, let's go. Oh boy, what are we doing? Where are we going? Anything to like look around at? Why not? Let's go. Uh, uh, oh man! Hey! I ain't never getting home to mama at this rate. <laughs> this sucks. 
Oh, it's hot dish night. What's the matter? Should I stay? What? I don't want to sleep in the treehouse tonight, but I don't know if I should leave. What if my parents come home? I'm gonna tell her they're dead. I'm sorry. They won't. We should go. Then they'll find me, right? I won't leave you alone, okay? Yeah, sorry. I didn't want her waiting for her parents and, like, staying in a dangerous place. Hey, man! Holy shit! Don't eat us! We're not gonna hurt you. Yeah. Thought for a second you and the one were both gonna give us the chomp. The chomp. We need help. Are you trying to get out of here? Because you should be. Those things are all over the damn place. I haven't seen anything as gnarly as this neighborhood since downtown Atlanta, 15 miles back. I'm Sean. Sean Green. Lee, this is Clementine. I'm Chet. We shouldn't be out in the open like this. How about you help us clear the way, and we'll take you and your daughter out of here and down to my family's farm. It should oh be safer there. I'm not a dad. I'm... Just some guy. Some guy? Yeah. Uh oh She's alone? Let's get going. Staying put uh -oh. for too long is a mistake. I didn't want to lie. What do you want to do? I... The monster's coming. Uh oh we gotta go. Leave, quick. Let's go. Right, let's go. What do we do? For just some guy, it seems like you saved a bunch of lives today. <laughs> I'd, be, I'd be kind of creeped out. Okay, so we got Clementine with us. I can't remember what our name is. But we met Sean Green and the dude in the back. Sean's driving. Cornfield, children of the corn. Bad, bad. Bad. Oh, not bad. Okay. I guess this looks like Herschel's house. Hey, from Sean. The show. I'm gonna run on home. My mom is gonna be in a snip. No oh. sweat, man. I'll catch you tomorrow night. It was nice to meet you both. You too, man. Thanks for the help. Seriously. We would not have gotten out of there without your help. Thank God you're okay. Oh my God, it does look like I was true. worried it'd be bad here, too. Been quiet as usual the past couple of days. The Greens. Reckon down the way thinks his mare's gone lame, but that ain't nothing new. I wouldn't have made it back without Chet. Well, I'm glad you took him with you then. You've brought a couple guests. Your boy's a lifesaver. Your boy's a lifesaver. Glad he could be yeah. a help to somebody. He's a good so guy. it's just you and your daughter then? Oh, not his daughter. He's, well, just some guy who found her alone. Honey, do you know this man? Yes. Okay then. <laughs> well, okay. Looks like you hurt your leg pretty bad there. This is awesome. Yeah. This is a great it's game. It's not doing so good. I can help you out. Sean, run on in and check on your sister. You, take a seat up on the porch and I'll go see what I have. Thanks. Any food? Let's have a look. Yeah. This is swollen to hell. Oh. Uh... It hurts like hell. It hurts like hell. Yeah. I bet it does. It does what did you say good. your name was? Uh, it's Lee. It's Lee. Nice to meet you, Lee. 
I'm Herschel Green. Cool, I know my name. How'd this happen? Shit. Car accident. I'm not gonna lie to you. Car accident. That's so. Where are you headed before the car accident? Um. Out of I was Atlanta. getting out of Atlanta. The news says stay. Yeah, well, that's a mistake. We hit a guy. One of those things you've been hearing about. On the road. Who are you with, the girl? I was with a police officer. He was giving me a ride. Awful nice of him. <laughs> I'm an awful nice guy. House is full up with mine. We got another displaced family of three sleeping in the barn. Oh. You and your daughter are welcome to rest there when we're done here. I didn't catch your name, darling. Clem... Clementine. Can't imagine what you've been through, Clementine. Um, looking after her until we, uh, find her parents. Hey, Dad, so I'm thinking, first thing tomorrow, we gotta reinforce the fence around the farm. That doesn't seem necessary. I don't know what you saw on TV or heard on the radio, but there's some serious shit hitting the fan. I don't think <laughs> anyone knows how big it is yet. Your son is right. Your son's right. You're gonna want to fortify this place. Stuff like that doesn't happen around here, Sean. Yeah, Dad, I'm serious. Lee, come on. Tell him what you saw out there, man. I got chased by a couple of dead people. Well, do what you think you should. We got plenty of chores as it is. Lee and those folks in the barn can help out in the morning. We gotta do it. Really. I already said okay. Well, I'm all done here. Cool. It should start to feel better tomorrow. Thanks. And if your leg gets hot or the swelling doesn't go down, you're probably dealing with an infection. What do we do then? We'll probably just have to shoot you. Oh. What? We'll clean it, redress it, and you'll be fine. <laughs> okay, that'd be preferable. There's blankets and such in the barn. We'll be seeing you bright and early. Any beef jerky? And tomorrow, hungry. which way you think you're headed? Towards Macon, I suppose. Macon? Cool. All right, then. Sweet. So far, so good. It smells like... know what it smells like. Duty. Huh? Duty. That's great. I missed my mom and dad. I bet, Clem. How far is Savannah? Pretty far. Oh, okay. Okay, that was our wife, I'm guessing. A broken window. Hey, get up. Ooh. Ooh, I'm itchy. Well, you slept in a barn, little lady. Lucky <laughs> you don't have spiders in your hair. Uh, but I bet your daddy scared them all away, huh? I'm, uh, not her dad. Name's Lee. I'm Kenny. Dad, we're in the middle of a fence. There's a tractor and everything. Cool. We better get going, or we won't hear the end of it. That's my boy, Ken Jr. We call him Duck. Uh, Dodge Dodging and Quacking. Dodging and Quacking. Quacking. Dad! See? That's awesome. The word is you were on your way to Macon. My family's from there. Well, Macon's on the way, and personally, I'd appreciate the company of a guy who can knock a couple of heads together if he has to. Sure, we'll tag along. It's a plan, then. Cool. Honey, Duck, this is Lee. And, uh, what's the girl's name? Clementine. Clementine. That is a very pretty name. Thanks. Well, we should get to work. We've all seen what those things can do out there, so the faster we get this fence up, the better. I want to build a fence. Yeah? Well, I need a good foreman. You can sit on the tractor and yell at me whenever I take a water break. 
On a tractor? Cool! Duck and I will hop to it. I can keep an eye on your little girl here on the porch. We can visit. Cool. Alright, let's go build a fence, I guess. Hey there, girls. How did you handle getting through the city? Yeah. Kenny just drove. We passed so many people that needed help, and we just passed people over some. Just, oh. just. Uh, it's okay. It's We're fine. Over to get out. You don't have to say anymore. I want to go home tomorrow, but even then, I can't take away the things we, the things Doc went through. Don't you want to go back to the moment before you knew about all of this? Not really. Uh... This could all be providence, you know? Not what we saw. You just never realize when something is happening to you, what you're being given. See? Maybe this will all work out. Your optimism is refreshing. <laughs> mm. These past couple days, at least. You two actually look relaxed. I think we're doing just fine. Clementine was just telling me about first grade. Oh, uh, how's that? It's easy. Well, yeah. <laughs> so, you're That's good? Funny. Anyway, it's almost like we didn't see people eating each other for the past three days. It's peaceful here, you know? So, uh, what do you do when corpses aren't walking around? I'm a veterinarian back in Fort Lauderdale. Like Herschel here, except more with dogs and cats and uh, not horses. What is it that you do, Lee? I used to teach up at the University of Georgia. We're teachers. We need to hope that we can go back to our jobs soon, Lee. Back to normal. It can't stay like this. No, I used to. I was let go a little while back. That's too bad. Well. I hear people always clamor back to college after a big disaster. Huh? People don't want to die ignorant, I guess. Back in a bit. Okay, Lee. Uh-oh. I wonder if I'm giving too much information to everybody. You having a nice time with Katya Clementine? Yeah. Okay. This is awesome. Right across from those two is the barn. What do we got right here? A truck? It's not the most reliable pickup in the world, but it gets the job done. It's actually a piece of shit, but ah. Hall's alright. Alright, alright. That's awesome. Hey One there, more. uh, Kenny. So what's your family's plan? Get back on down to Lauderdale and let this mess get sorted out. Lauderdale. Government will start handing out shots and the National Guard will do its thing. On the odd chance things got too bad, we could hop on my boat, I guess. You've got a oh. boat. I'm a commercial fisherman, catching mackerel, dolphin, whatever's biting and paying. Katya wouldn't be wild about it, but the boat's not that bad. How's your son doing? Good, I think. Kachi's got a sister up in Memphis. We were coming back from visiting her. We were in a gas station and some guy grabbed my boy. I thought he was kidnapping him. I was on the fucker in about two seconds and... Christ. Just lucky I was there. We saw a lot of bodies before we stumbled upon Herschel's. But we're a tough family, Lee. Ain't nothing gonna phase us. I want this guy on our team. <laughs> Need any help? No, I think I got it. Do you need any help? Uh, what do you mean? Well, I mean in taking care of that little girl. You know what you're doing? You got kids of your own? Um, I have, I have no, no idea. idea what I'm doing. At least you're honest. Shit. Better than I was when Duck showed up. You'll figure it out. See you. Alright. Or something. 
Do you, uh, think this thing will keep him out? Not yet. I'm planning on coming back through on a fortification pass, if you will. We'll lock this place up good. Let's talk to everybody before we do this. Oh, we're out of people. Okay, this is the only people. Alright, kid, what's up? You know how to drive it? Sure don't. I can give you a hell of a critique of the U.S. Farm Bill, though. I'm good. How you doing, Duck? Good! I'm gonna drive the tractor! <laughs> I'm the foreman! Lift with your back, Sean! Oh, God. How you doing, Duck? Good! I'm gonna drive the tractor! Alright, alright, alright. Don't say it again. I'm the foreman! Lift with your back, Sean! Alright. Thanks, thanks, kid. How are these things to drive? Awesome! Pain in the ass, mostly. Big, heavy as hell, and slower than, uh... Why don't we just put that in front of the fence? Hey, Lee. Need a hand? That'd be great. If you could cut those two bytes to length, that'd sure speed things up. Alright. Sharpening stakes. My dad doesn't know how bad it is. No, he doesn't. I saw a guy in Atlanta kill a kid. A boy. Damn. Just shot him right in the face. Damn! Damn! Was um, the boy one of the walkers? I don't even know. Damn. He was either attacking the guy or asking for help. He didn't even hesitate. He just turned, put the barrel of the gun right between the kid's eyes, and pulled the trigger. You don't see things like that. It's not like in the movies. They don't fall like you think. Did you have to do it? Do what? Kill. Yep. Have you had to off one yet? Oh. to shoot one. I could shoot one, maybe, if it were far away. I'm just glad we're getting this fence built. Dad just wants to keep the family safe and thinks inviting people in is a bigger threat than whatever's out there. How about yours? How's your family? My brother and parents are in Macon, I hope. Oh man, I hope so too. Maybe it's not too bad there. I just guessed. I have no idea if that's That's probably all I need cut for now. Thanks. And Sean, thanks again for the ride. No problem, Lee. Cool. Couldn't leave you behind. Anyway, when you see my dad around, he might want some help in the barn. That dude looks like Herschel, man. Hey, Lee. I'm gonna go, uh, check on the others. Whatever you want, man. <laughs> it's totally Herschel. How'd you get out of Atlanta? Oh, really? Really? I got a ride, and then I was in a wreck. I walked until your boy found me. Hmm. Well, you're no worse for wear. Uh, this farm's a nice plot of land. <laughs> Had you told me 20 years ago I'd still be doing this, I would have told you that you were full of crap. Never was a plan, having a place like this. It was in the family, and I guess so was I. Family's important. It's all that matters. You agree with that? Was uh, brought up to? Yes. Sure. Where's your family now? Parents? Wife? Girlfriend? My parents are in Macon, with my brother. Well, I hope they're all right. But now you've got this little girl to take care of. Clementine, is it? You just stumbled up on her? I was being attacked and she came to my rescue. Hmm. Uh oh. Can I give you a piece of advice? Uh, sure. Sure. I don't know who you are or what you did. Let's say things don't get better back in the cities, or they get worse before they do. You're gonna have to depend on the honesty of strangers if you're gonna make it. And if those same people get to questioning yours, 
you're gonna be in trouble. But at least you have the common sense to listen to a man giving you advice. What the oh shit! Now what? Go! I'll get my gun! Th did the kids start the fucking track? <laughs> them both. Look at him. You thought wrong. Yeah. And now? Please. Just go. Get out and never come back. So is he this kid or him? What are you looking at me like that for? It's your fault, asshole. You've ran away with the kid. Got that ride to make it if you want it. I better. Oh, that sucks that somebody had to die this early. Damn it. Alright, kid named Duck, you better, I don't know, salvage and find shit for us. Wow, we, are, we just straight up left. Well, this is as far as we're going. We're out of and gas. It's far enough. So we're in Macon, where our dad and or somebody lives. These, right? I think they work there or something, or live there. I don't know. Look. Hey there, you friendly? Probably not. Trucks run out of gas. Shut up. Shut up. Right now. Fuck! Oh, man. We're trapped! <laughs> oh. 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 And they like throw flaming cocktails. We can't on the take zombies. risks like this, and we can't just let people die either. When it is like when I say that door stays shut no matter what, I fucking mean it. We don't know who these people are. It's Sarah it's Connor. Dangerous. Worse, they could have let them right to us. Where the hell is your humanity? They would have died out there. We're not dangerous, just regular folks. What's dangerous is a bunch of people running outside and drawing their attention to us. Lee's right. We're just regular folks, but we actually like helping people. You'll have to excuse her. The hell he or anyone will. This is about survival. Do you guys not see what's happening? What is it? I... I have to pee. 
I'd go out there again in a second. I bet you would. You're a dumb, careless kid. In a minute, Clem. Just gotta They've got peace. kids, Lily. Those things outside Somebody. don't care. Maybe you should go join him then. You'll have something in common. God Whoa. damn it, Lily. You have to control these people. Carly and Glenn just ran out there. I don't give a flying fuck. We're in a war zone. She's not wrong. They took a risk. Yes, we did. And we appreciate it. Now let's settle down. There we go. That's a good Holy answer. Holy shit. Son of a bitch. One of them is bitten. Wasn't he bit. wasn't bitten. Hell, he wasn't. Cool. We have to was... end this was now. He? Oh, shit. My dead body will oh. dig one hole. No, I'm cleaning him up. There's no bite. He's fine. Don't you fucking people get it? We've already seen this happen. We let someone with a bite stay in, and we all end up bitten. Shut up. We gotta throw him out, or smash his head in. Kenny, wow. stop him! Hey, what do we do about this guy? Uh... Dad, it's just a boy. It's Lily, I'll reason him. With him. We reason with him. With the bloody end of an axe handle, maybe. Nobody threatens my boy. Oh. Everyone, chill the fuck out! Nobody is doing anything. Shut up, Lily. <laughs> and you, shut the fuck up. They will find us, I'm and they will get out. in here. He and none of this will fucking matter. Where's Lily? Really right smart. now, we're about to be trapped in here with one of those things. What the hell are you talking about? He's bitten! That's how you turn! He's not bitten. Please stop this. It's upsetting him. Oh, I'm upsetting him. Upsetting is getting eaten alive. What if this was your daughter? Never would have happened. She's not some snot-nosed toddler, okay? She's United States Air Force. Fuck you and her. <laughs> I'm gonna kill him, Cat. Just worry about Duck. Oh, God. Lee! Yeah? There's someone in there. It's just locked. Keys behind the counter. That poor little girl's Probably. gonna pee. Hey, I'm not the bad guy here. I'm just looking out for my daughter. No, you're just the guy arguing for killing a kid. He's covered in muck. She'll find the bite. Watch. She won't. And if she does, the first thing he'll do is sink his teeth into his mom's face. Yeah. Then, when she's dead, he'll probably pounce on your little girl. It's a little boy. I think we can handle it. A little boy? He'll be an uncontrollable man-eater. It's not gonna happen. It is. And we're tossing him out now. Oh my god. Hit him. Let him go. Knock this hit guy him. out. Have to hit him. Oh, oh, Jesus. Oh, oh, oh god. <coughs> that didn't work. <laughs> Jesus! <laughs> <laughs> You okay? Just great, thanks. Uh, guys? Is everybody down. Stay quiet. We're gonna get in. Shut up. Is that the military? I don't know. Thank God for whatever it is. We almost died because of this bitch and a Richie trigger finger. That was stupid. That was. Uh, uh, Dad! Uh, 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 Crap. I did try to get him to calm down. Can it, asshole? <laughs> it's his heart. <laughs> My pills. Um, nitroglycerin pills? Yes, we're out. We've been trying to get into the pharmacy since we got here. Please try to get in there, behind the counter where the pills are. What are we looking for? We need nitroglycerin pills. Please get in there. I'll keep an eye on my dad. Everyone else should get comfy and look for anything useful. We could be in here a while. I'm starting to think this drugstore isn't a permanent solution. You're right. 
This ain't exactly Fort Knox. What do you suggest? We need as much gas as possible so we can all get out of downtown Macon. Fast. Agreed. Then I'll head out and get gas. There's a motel not too far from here, out towards the end of Peachtree. I'll work my way toward it and then loop back, siphoning what I can. All right. You know your way around? Local? Born and raised. If you're gonna do that, here's a walkie-talkie if you get in a tight spot. Hopefully, you won't need it. Cool. Clementine's got the other one. Check in Might with her and get play. back here as soon as you can. And you? What's your name? It's Lily. My dad's Larry. Keep a good eye on him. These boys will work on getting you your medicine. That's right. And you? You keep an eye on that front door. You're our lookout. It's Doug. You got it. And I'm Carly. Okay, Carly. You'll shift in with Doug when he needs it. For now, get some rest. You're a good shot, and I'd like to keep it that way. You got it, boss. Now get him those pills. Okay. We don't want him dying and zombifying now. Central High Tech State. Papers a week old. Feels like years. Huh. Alright guys, we're going to take a breather here. In the next episode, we will uh, explore this store, pick up whatever we can, find some medicine, do what we got to do on episode 2. Thanks for coming out, watching The Walking Dead on Mixer. Green Earth Games, take it easy. Epic Tommy 01.